children can walk between about 10 18 months of age before they start to walk babies usually have been crawling between 7 and 12 months that's basically how I know I was in a Belgrade Sometimes I started uh, the MK Ultra in Belgrade. Utterly, uh, basically, how I know for myself, like in Belgrade, I know I was in Belgrade, I was delivered to Belgrade. Because of this, I know that the first time I appeared in Belgrade when I had about probably. Probably I had about four months of age, four months, four months. And I have the proof for this. The proof for this is that this is basically I know for myself that I was in Belgrade. It's when I had a four months of age, four months of age. Josip Bros Tito ran a real gladiator school for a future diplomats, presidents. The way this worked was he put you as a baby in front of him and in front of some foreign leader, let's say somebody from China or from India or from United States of America or from some African country or from Soviet Union. And then the game started. And this was not the game of violence, but it was a game of patience. So this is, I'm giving you a proof. I did not know how to walk that time yet. I could not walk. And yet I was strong and I know that age-wise and abilities-wise, I would be definitely one of the first kids that would walk. So I know that maybe even three months is when it all started. And it started with what was this game between the two children they interacted. They, you would have a Yossi Brostito sitting on a chair in a room. It was like some kind of children's room, whatever, very light with the windows. And you will have another uh, person, presidential person, whatever, politician, or a person that was wealthy, whatever. He was collecting the money, obviously, for this stuff. This was a game. Also sitting inside. And it was not one children or two children, but there will be more children that will be also uh, involved in this um, not when it start the game but there was testing different children a lot of children and the way this game worked was that this was interaction between the two children and I don't know why I don't know how this worked really but the child that would Loose at one point in time temper uh, was the one who lost the game and yeah this is different um, in my case it would always develop into something that would the, the child that I would play with whatever uh, that would children were losing Children, I don't know what the fuck went on with the children, but children were losing their mind all the time with the children. Children were just, I don't know what they were doing to the children. They were, they were annoying children, adults. 
And children were quite aggressive. They were acting quite aggressive. You're talking about babies. Babies, not the children. And incited them in even losing temper. And I have no idea how that worked exactly. Why the child would lose temper or whatever. But the child that would lose the temper would be the child that lost the game. Yeah, it was not about muscles or whatever. But in my case, it turned out even like this, that as the children would lose game, it would be that they pummeled the floor with the other child, with the child with whom he played or whatever. He would lose temper and he would just go and push and whatever, not push him, but yeah, push him, attack him, and so on. And the thing about it is that I always won the game. And the name of the game is always, always, 100%, I never lost the game. Never attacked any child. Never lost game to any child. And yet the worst that started to develop and the best for Josip Broz Tito, who probably even collected the money and I think he was collecting the money and if he was not collecting the money he had the leaders from whatever country leave to his country with a really shit taste in his mouth because his child will lose the game got himself into the physical fight with me by simply uh, attacking me once, attacking me twice, and the third time I would be the one who, contrary to expectations, expectations would pummel the floor with the child. So I did not know how to walk back then. Uh, I had people during MK Ultra suggesting me that their possibility even exists that it was like four months or something like that that Yossi Brostito had me inside of the Belgrade. I think it was probably between three and four months when I remember my being inside of the Belgrade city and I just described you why and how. I did not know how to walk. Uh, I was not capable to walk. Not, not, not no, I was not capable to walk. And I remember the room I remember the children when I was not capable to walk the way we interacted, adults, uh, and the type of game. So this was the type of the game. The children that did not know how to uh, walk, actually had capacity to walk, this was the game. The child who loses the patience was the child that uh, went home as a loser um, regardless. Uh, that was the rule, but if he attacked you and you were capable to even obviously pummel the floor with it, which I was a pioneer at that, I was the first child, meaning that even the children that I engaged were older than myself, who knows how much older, that was a definite plus. And this is how I qualified for the Josip Bros Tito is gladiator game in the Belgrade. And there is another thing. I remember the father of I remember the father of of Mary Bleach. I hope I I, I pronounce it properly. I remember the father, her father I remember. I remember the father of this girl when she was when she was uh, when even she was a baby that's what I can do and her father uh, contrary to Lionel Richie oh he got involved in yes but nowhere nowhere as not as early he got involved when I was a little bit older. Uh, uh, her father from um, Mary Bleach. Why am I using him? I'm using him because he 
he looked like this. Yeah, talking about the haircut and uh, the way he looked more or less, he looked like a Lionel Richie. This was some kind of a handsome guy who, however, did not dress like this. He did not dress like this. He always dressed like this, like in a business way. He always was dressed himself like, you know, from what I recall him, he always dressed himself like what I found here, 1975, for the Lionel Richie. Let me see if I can find something. So, just that you're not going to think about when it all started. It started when I was about three or even four months of age. And the older men who were describing his stuff during MK Ultra, once I... They did not... not nobody! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Uh, <laughs> In my lifetime, nobody pointed out what I pointed out. Nobody probably from Slovenia, maybe even, yeah, of course they know about this stuff. It was about the patience. It was not about the muscles. I never, ever lost the game. The children would leave with their um, mentors back to the countries and... With a, the worst thing was that I played so clean that nobody possibly could complain. There were other children that Josip Broz Tito had from Yugoslavia that lost tempers one way or the other. It was all about who is the best, who is the best at this. And then the worst thing would happen, they would even lose the physical fights. This is how it all started. But I never ever lose a single, one single fight. I never, never. Uh, it was like a machine. It was like a robot. Literally, you would put me whatever. And that would be it. Nobody ever, nobody ever told, told anyone that I would know of what initially, how it all started, the game was about. Okay. So... Um, Um, the way he dressed was, <laughs> he dressed up more like this, but in a bright colors, uh, but like in a sporty way. Let me see if I can find something. Not, 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 not like this, not this. Uh, he dressed like, like this. This would be, this, this is how he would, but in a bright color. So I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, he was, he was, uh, he was something like this when it comes to haircut. That was the father of Mary Bleach, like this. That was he, typical. Okay, so um, let me move with the time a little bit forward here, like this. Yeah, something something in this sense, something like that. Um, beige color, like not exactly like that, but they had some different kind of clothing also back then. I'm trying to find that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um... It would be something, something like, something like this, this kind of, this was his, like his classic. And don't think that I don't remember him because he treated Mary like a queen. 
His girl was like a queen. He was skinny. He was way skinnier when it all started. He was like a Lionel Richie skinny. But he was dressing himself like the guy on the left. Like in a business way like this. In that way. And um, he treated uh, Mary with like totally, totally exceptional respect. Like, like a little queen. She was like a little queen, literally like a little queen. Uh, in front of us, in Yugoslavia, in Belgrade, here in the city of the Novo Mesto, mainly in the Belgrade, she knows Belgrade very good. Uh, he treated her like a little queen. Like a little queen with exceptionally, exceptionally nice. This was father from Mary Blige, who, however, um, started to engage in torture against me. That started sometimes when The thing is, they all did. The thing is, they all did. Yeah, probably sometimes, like, age. I estimate probably about 9, 10, 9, I would say. And it went on uh, till I actually rebelled against one like when I was 12, he's, he started to gain weight. He, he suffered some kind of a depression because of me, something like that. Um, maybe sometimes in 19... In 1984 is when her father started to gain weight, something like this, I would say. Um, This game with this black violence that they involve in MK Ultra, this started when I was I was not even two years of age. Um, I was I was uh, <clears throat> probably one year old when the black violence already was introduced in in the game. And again, I was exceptionally good at this black violence because I didn't get involved in black violence uh, I when when I was dealing with the black children and so on and their mentors I did not want to have any kind of violence uh, something that was a big big problem this is what Josip Bros Tito was doing very very racial shit and very he was extremely extremely uh, socially like Socially, he was doing experiment, like a social experiments. They couldn't get through my skin, literally. Talking about black now. Uh, I don't know what the hell entirely this stuff was about. They really wanted to make out of me like a total, I don't know, racist or something like this. Uh... For some other purposes, or was it that they 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 just needed some kind of Nazi so they could build something else on one their political agenda or something like this? I have no idea. In Yugoslavia, we didn't have any kind of Nazis. And another thing is, I am from the family. That's that would be not likely impossible, but totally, totally impossible, because on both sides of the family. I told you, were involved in National Liberation Front. Nothing to do with the Nazism. Uh, so, uh, I don't know how much it matters, 
black kids were the most aggressive of all kids because of level of education, because of these kids coming from other countries where I don't know what went on uh, or whatever went on, I do not know, but they really were. They got, they got uh, specially, they started to specially pick on me because they couldn't win any kind of game. They couldn't win the game like this, not like that, not shit. This is where the trouble was. And I became extremely, extremely interesting for these foreign people. And we're not talking about any kind of white people. We're not talking about any people, any children from whatever place, Germany or something like that. Tito was playing with this thing here. It's called Liga Neuverschanig. Liga Neuverschanig. The non aligned movement. It's called the non aligned movement. Uh, this this here is what Josip Broz Tito was playing with. This he was playing with the Africa, he was playing with the Soviet Union, he was playing with uh, this here. This is uh, no, 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 no. This this was his customers. These were our customers. This here. This, every one of them knew me, absolutely. Uh, where the hell is the map? Okay, here, there you go. This is what you see right there. This is what the, what Josip Brostito was playing, to according to my knowledge. You know, there was no there was no such a thing that that uh, I would even get probably in touch with with kids from Germany at the time when I was. When I was uh, three, six months old, I did not get in touch with any of them. So, this here. This stuff here. There were people involved in MK Ultra who told me that they have to... Uh, Go back in time when I was when I was one year old, something like that. No, no, it was not one year old. It was before I could even walk. It was before I could even walk, basically. This and also the children, the black children they had from United States of America. They had minorities from United States of America. That's how I got to know her father, actually her, through her father. She joined MK Ultra when she was just, I estimate, this girl was probably just like maybe five, maybe six years old, something like this, you know? I say that she was probably about the age of four or five or something like this when father already had her with him with him this here uh, they would deliver also girls um, of all the black girls that Josip Brostito have entire collection of these parents that would deliver uh, you know all kinds of children uh, they had, they had, uh, to me personally, it, it was American black girls that appealed to me the most. And so, Josip Brostito, who watched my interactions and everything, uh, he was trying to introduce me, he was trying to introduce me girls from Africa and stuff, but uh, I like American the most. Uh, the second, 
that had a first place were a Cuban girls, Cuban black girls. Uh, he was trying to get me a black girl, really, as a wife, as a future wife. Uh, and it was American black girls who took the top spot. They, they, they stole the spot. And so he eventually started to deliver girls from United States of America, black girls. Uh, they told me this is how United States of America got on a picture. Uh, I don't think so. Because that will be like relatively very, very, very late. Uh, United States of America did not get on the picture because of black girls. This is where I am from, so this here, 470 kilometers drive to the city of the Belgrade. Just so you know, that's a Serbian that right there is a, is a Slovenia. Just so you know how it all started, <clears throat> exactly what kind of game this was, uh, it's not in the hands of the Serbs and Slovenes. It's in the hands of all politicians from Africa, from Asia, from South America. They all witnessed this stuff. Who knows how many children went to pair with me to see who is better. I did not even know the worst part about this stuff. What was the worst part? How I won these games? Uh, I want all these games because I did not even know. <laughs> Maybe I was dumb. Uh, I did not even know. <laughs> I, I, really, it's impossible to tell. Uh, I'm saying, I'm telling you, the children were older, even one year, even two years, as they interacted with me. And they lost these games. Uh, the kids knew. The older kids knew what the game was all about. The thing about me is I did not even know what this game was about. I was so innocent, so had no fucking clue what this was about. All I wanted to do is to be friend with the children. I was extremely, extremely friendly person. And I just did not want to have nothing to do with any kind of physical stuff. Uh... This is how it happened. This is this is what this was. This is what this is. That's how it all started. I'm going to take another date and time for this one. Think about this. Think about this stuff. What exactly the problem is with all this? The biggest problem, the biggest problem was that they didn't want me to come with the statements like this. The biggest problem was a brainwasher in MK Ultra for which they demanded from me for the most part to, they dared me. If I ever understand what it means to have a child that is, that is three years old, uh, that is two years old, that is three years old, if I even understand, this is what was all about. They terrorized with the psychiatry even issues about when it all started. Why? This, what I submitted to you today, is a hardcore proof when it all started, how it all started. Borut Pahar was the one who knew that. Tanya Fanyon knew about this stuff. They all knew about it. The pro-Serbian, pro-Russian people here from Slovenia. Anti-Slovenian people. Those who hated company Elan. Skin of which the main guy who hated the most was Milan Kuchan. He never liked skiing. Yeah, he became a king of this company, Elan, in Slovenia. 
they knew that once I would give you this kind of video, that there would be a, who knows how many people, witnesses from abroad, who would give a confirmation about when it all started. And when you consider about what I was talking to you about, and now when I'm telling you about when this shit started, it's a bad news for them. That's why they didn't want. But there was one individual who said, it was early, you know, even one year, he said, maybe even earlier, who practically confirmed me this stuff also during MKH. Just nobody explained anything like I explained now in my lifetime to me. So this is done on like a pure solid memory. Nobody ever during MKH mentioned any of this stuff. What initial game was about. That's what initial game was all about. So. Now, unfortunately, this is how it is. The world is like this. Um, you know, Lionel Richie got involved when I was... Ugh. Probably 1976, maybe something like this. I was alive, probably already four years old, four year of age. Okay. Uh, but <clears throat> her father of Mary, I think, played a piano. So, so, uh, as even I was told that he's a talented. Um, I think that he played piano or something like that. He was not a politician or anything, but he wanted to be a politician. He told me, but with your help, because I asked him, I told him, you're not a politician or whatever. Uh, he just wanted me to marry, marry, basically. He just wanted me to marry her. I said, but what, what do you do? What type of stuff do you do? What is it? What do you do? And are you a politician? Are you a minister? The thing is that president, whatever, king, and he said, no, I was not, but, but he said, with your help, I will be. This is the way it was. He dressed uh, sporty, you know, he dressed sporty, but uh, he dressed up uh, simply he dressed up sporty even even this would go this 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 here would even go in that sense nothing um how can I say? Um, nothing extravagant, you know, nothing as extravagant, but at the same time, uh, you know. Like something like this, this would go. This would go, but, you know, darker, um, a little bit darker stuff, suits, like beige, like, let's say, you know, like a little more gray. Um, without the butterfly, no butterfly there. You have no, no kind of butterfly. He was not a butterfly person. I remember him that he would he would go for butterfly. He would he would wear uh, if, if, if 
Well, I mean... I don't actually even... Uh, if he were, he were ties, not butterfly or anything like this. That's my bet for her father. Jacket like this would also go. This would also be like this, but he was skinny. He was he was really really well maintained and skinny. To me, face like a facial wise, face wise, it looks something like this. It looks something like this to me when I recall father from from Mary uh, Bleach. Facially, facially, he looked to me more or less like this. Facially. Um, Skinny, well-maintained guy, basically. He started to gain weight sometimes in 1983 and 1984. But until then, he had like a steady weight. He had no weight issues whatsoever. Rather was uh, in a very good shape, skinny. I didn't even search anything like this. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just want to keep this stuff with me as it is. <clears throat> I don't want to uh, spoil anything when it comes to memories. He would be like... Um, very often he dressed, uh, very often, yeah, and this is even according to Mary Bleach whom I met, that's why. The, what I demonstrated you earlier, this was, this is, this was basically his, very often, he, he dressed into this. She sat with me in front of the computer and went over this stuff. Uh, yes, I, I agree with it, but if... He also did dress up in what I demonstrated you. Uh, probably he made a stronger impression despite not being very often dressed up like this. He probably made a stronger impression on me than what being dressed up the way you see right there. Because I was really looking how the people dressed up. I was scanning absolutely everything, not only cars, women and stuff, but I... I was interested in seeing really how people, what kind of a, even people from different countries, how they dressed. And there was this big, big fucking difference between the people from Cuba, from United States of America, uh, uh, from Africa. Listen to me. Um... There was a big, big, big difference between, between uh, also similar to this. Now listen to me this shit, if you even dare to think about. Huge, like a night and day difference between people from Cuba, blacks, uh, African people, enormous different and the people from United States of America Pe blacks from United States of America they came they were coming like they did not even realize that that's what's interesting 
they didn't even pay attention to it or they did not want to pay attention to this in front of me at least however I knew it they could nobody could fool me about not even like this and I was the one who was asking them how come the fuck do you dress in a, such a good clothing they look so poor so shitty when compared to you I was asking them because they were convincing me it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. And they didn't want American blacks. American blacks didn't want to, to cut in front of the African blacks or Cuban blacks. Uh, it was certain degree of solidarity they had with one another. And I told them it's not true, I told them. Uh, how come do you dress up a, so with a, such a good clothing? They had a, such a good clothing that Josip Brostito, I bet, even contemplated. The sporty jackets, sporty jackets. Um, even Josip Brostito, 100%, I bet, contemplated on stealing them clothing. No fucking kidding. Uh, simply they dressed up in a, in a, in a, nothing. Like they were like completely out of this world. They were like, like some kind of uh, aliens that will fall from another planet with their clothing. Such a high quality clothing when compared to the clothing from Africa or Cuba. Uh, you know, Eastern Bloc, Eastern Bloc stuff, issues or poverty from Africa. Uh, I remember one black guy from Africa that <laughs> I put him down because of the clothing. And then he got himself some kind of clothing. And he said, no, I had the same clothing like they had. No, I had the same clothing like they had. Uh, I wanted to make impression on me. Um, and it was like, so, you know. Yes, yes. Before I could even walk, before I could even talk. Literally, before I could even talk. Before you can talk, you understand. It wasn't a very high... It wasn't a very high... It wasn't... Process of using brain involving it. Not at all. Very primitive. But it was all about how you treat other people. It was all about the patients who won. And it just happened so that I treated them the best. I did not know anything about strength stuff like this. Uh, and didn't want to have anything to do with it. I was really, I was dumb because the kids who push you once, twice, three times uh, more... I remember them saying, look, look what he is doing, look what he is doing. It was like the child started to enjoy doing to other child stuff. And other child would not defend himself, that was myself. Till the shit went on like this for one hour or something, you know. Literally like this. That's how it all started. Belgrade city, 460 kilometers from here, Serbia. 1972, age, three, four months, Belgrade, 